Hey, Yoshi. What's up, girl? Hi, <laughs> hey, Frank. Hi. Hi. Oh my God, Francisco just changed to the place. Hello, Hello. Come on. Yes, yeah, leave it there. That's good. Hey, yeah, but I like your background, actually. <laughs> okay. Hey, you look so fresh. Ah. Maybe you rest a little bit, yeah? Maybe. Maybe, yeah. But, however, a little uh -huh. tired. What? You are you still tired? Yeah. It's a tired for vacation. Yeah. <laughs> you no, know no, what? No, no. I don't know why, but every time that we are coming from vacation, we are tired, right? Yes. Yeah, I don't know why. We are tired it's, of being especially depressed. because in the well right. in the in my house I, I always I mm, I have okay. things to fix it. Oh so you did some house chores during the vacation? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. But you know what? I, I think it's because but for me you look you look rest because your eyes sometimes when you're like your eyes can look like with bags, right? Mm -hmm. Or or maybe your eyes could, could show that you are tired, mentally tired most of the time. But right now, your eyes look so fresh. And I think it's because you have combed your hair in a different way, maybe, like this. Oh, yeah, over there, right? It's like, let me double check. Yes, for left side, right? You comb your hair on the left side? Mm -hmm. you, you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Okay, so I think the way that you comb your hair, maybe. Mm, but I don't know see any. Um, no, 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 no. No, I know. I'm I'm talking about in general. I'm not saying that you oh. have it. No, I'm talking oh, about okay. in general. That mm -hmm. when when somebody is tired, you can actually see it because of of their eyes, right? Yes. That they can reflect that. But in your case now, you look fresh. Like lettuce. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. You look fresh. And you know what? Also, Fernando, I don't know why. Maybe he, he cut his hair in a different way, like more like this and like this. I don't know. Or he's like uh, he's doing exercises. Or he has changed uh, the color of his uh, t-shirt. I don't know. But for me, you look younger, man. Uh, I. You shave it. Shave it, yes. But you have shaved recently before going to vacation. The, the, the last time was three weeks ago. Today, <gasps> today, the last time was three weeks ago. Really? Yes. So you just shave it one more time? Yes. Ah, that's the reason why, Francisco. Uh -huh. <laughs> but for me, when you appear, it's like, Who's this young guy? <laughs> any chance? Yeah, you look younger, my man. Yeah, from my point of view. <laughs> At least you're not going to sleep the whole week <laughs> because of that. I'm just teasing. No, no, no. But, but you look younger. Actually, you do. Mm -hmm. Which is good. Which is good. Maybe only for today because the, <laughs> this grow up faster. Uh, yes, you are like my, uh, like my grandpa. My grandpa has to shave twice a day. Wow. Yeah. Too much. <laughs> yeah. You know what? When he used to live with my grandma, and I was like, I think it was like six, when I was six years old and living like that way, that was yesterday, right? When he went out from the, from the bathroom, he was one of the guys that has all the the things or the cosmetic parts that the men's use after the the shower you know the the shaving thing well everything in, in the cologne and the, the, cologne. Ooh, the toilet and all the stuff they are from they were put it in order of use and also they were exactly the same brand and the same smell you cannot imagine it was like until one I think he had he used to have like a six bottles or seven bottles I don't know but wow. when he yeah when he went out home you were like <laughs> that man was smelling really good but really really good and you know what he's 95 years old right now yes wow he's still alive of course, my grandma passed away and she, he got married a second time. 
uh, but uh, and his wife is like a 73 something like that but um but you know what he is still being like that way can you imagine that was really interesting right i like it i really do i really do all right let's see who else william what have you done with your hair as well Nothing. Nothing. No, of course you can't. I think you come in a different way. Or you haven't come your hair. <laughs> that might be. Sorry, I can't hear you. Well, no, I, I, I was saying that you haven't come your hair, maybe. No. Ah, that's the reason why. Because you look like different today. I think everybody looks different. At least from my side, I just want to see the girls. Well, I'm still waiting for Jarvin. I want to see Jarvin as well. Let's see who else. Alexander De Jesus is here. Also Alberto as well. I just want to know if you change it or not. Can I, let me double check. Erwin, Erwin, I think he cut his hair a little bit more, right? I think so. That's what I think. Or no. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, yes. Maybe, yes. Maybe not. All right. And no. who else? Who else has changed it? Uh, can, I, can I see the girls? Can I see my beautiful ladies? Or yes El or no? Bronceado. What? <laughs> El bronceado. Yeah, that one. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh, I want to see ya. Let me double check the girls. Uh huh. Oh, Jesse. Where, where did you go? What have you done? Uh huh, Jesse. Tell us about it. Share to your experience with us. Uh huh. Just I, I worked. You worked. Yeah, yeah. Oh, because during vacation, you work? Yeah, in vacation. Oh yeah. my God. Because, why? Yeah. And I have some business. Oh, you my... got a business to do? Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. So, mm -hmm. so ah, yeah, so yeah. That's but the reason why. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't went. Uh, you didn't go? No, I didn't go. Uh, to any place. Um, yeah, because I don't like I don't like it. You don't like a what? No, no, because it is it is really full of people. people. Ah, yes, that's true. Uh huh. So for that reason, that I, I don't like to go to the beach uh, or uh, at least time. no these days. No, no. Yeah, but you can go any other days, right? Yeah. Ah, okay, but not right now because it's full. You said. Yeah, it's for okay. that reason. Okay, got it. Of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right about that. Hello. Okay, so now let me ask you something. Well, hey, Madeline. Hi, girl. Hey, how are you? Yes, I'm fine. And you? I'm pretty good. I'm so happy as well. <laughs> I And I'm so happy that I can see you guys again. Tell me, uh, what, hey, did you do something special or no? Uh, I went to uh, Termo del Rio. Oh, really? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. But it was uh, a, a week before the, the weekend, the, the vacation. Ah, huh. you um, okay? Really? Okay. That's good. Yeah. And also, I went to El Puerto de Libertad. The uh, Libertad Port? Yeah. To eat fish. <laughs> fish, fried fish. Yes, yes. Ooh, one of <laughs> so my delicious. favorite dishes. Yeah, that's nice. Hey, did you do something and special on your hair? What? Did you do something special on your hair? Because you look like a little mermaid. No, it's the same. <laughs> it's the same? Yeah. Oh, my God. Or, or I don't know if the vacation uh, felt well on you guys, but all of you, uh, I, well, for me, from my point of view, you look so different. You look fresh, relax. Yeah, <laughs> we need a vacation, right? We need it. That helps oh, a lot. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. You know what? 
Today was my first day <laughs> as well. And I was like, hey, I need more vacations, please. And I was, they said, no. 15 days enough. are enough. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, I said, never is enough. Yeah. Okay. And your vacation? Oh, they were amazing. Oh, okay. They you were do, amazing. Do everything. <laughs> well, yes, you know what? Um, and then I was thinking, uh, it's because I still have to do some things with my for, with uh, related to my mom's as I need to just still fix some things regarding her car, regarding her house, and all those stuff. So the first week basically was for that thing, but this but I'm still working on that. And uh, the next week was for myself. So my husband and I went beach, and at the same time went to the mountains with the pets. They had so much fun, but you know what? I thought I was supposed to go to France, but I didn't, I didn't go. Yeah, I wanted to go, but I couldn't. But maybe at the end of the year, I, I, I need to go either to France or to Costa Rica. They are beautiful places. Yeah, you know what? It's because hey, I have, I have let you know already that my my sister is pregnant. Oh, yeah, and I'm so happy. You know, yeah, that the same day that my mom passed, she sent me a message. Yeah, you know what? What? Um, I got. Well, this is like um, I, like a sour not news, right? Because uh, my mama has recently passed, but uh, now she said, hey. I, I could I, I didn't want to say anything until I was like a hundred percent sure about that. And she said, Hey, I'm praying it. You're gonna be an auntie. And I was like, What? Really? Yeah. And I was so happy about it. Yeah, I'm gonna be an auntie. So it is her second child. My niece is 18 years old. Can you imagine? My my sister is 41 years old. And she since she is a diabetic, it was a little bit hard for her to get pregnant because she needs all women, uh, the doctors need to prepare us, right? Our body and all those stuff because that is a really important thing and situation that's going to happen in our life, emotionally, mentally, and physically. But in, in the case of my sister, she has a diabetes. It, she needs more preparation than regular girls. So finally, she got pregnant. <laughs> and she's so happy about it. So I think she's going to give birth between September and October. I'm not sure about that yet. She needs to like double check <laughs> and let me know for sure. So I think I'm gonna ask for permission if she's gonna need my help with a newborn baby. So I, I don't know if I'm gonna go to Costa Rica, I'm gonna go to um, Paris because not only me, my stepsisters, because I have an older, an older brothers and sisters, they are planning to go to Costa Rica too. So I think we're going to go together to visit my sister and uh, visit the new birth baby, which we don't know who, what it's going to be. Is it going to be a girl? Is it going to be a boy? No idea. I think I'm going to know that around June, maybe. So I'm happy. I'm going to be an auntie. And Fernando's like so serious. I'm so <laughs> and I'm so happy that you cannot imagine. I'm auntie. I'm not gonna have a child, but basically, well, they're, they're my babies. I'm I'm so happy. So I'm planning just to double check one. I already bought something for her. It, you know what? I found a really good price. A good and a good good thing. It was it, it is like um. Well, how to say that in Spanish? Well, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's like a backpack. It's like a backpack. Bolson, mochila. Yeah, it's like a backpack, a, but a pañalera at the same time. So it's really just full because uh, you can put all the stuff there, right? At, at least the main things. And, and then you can just put it on the back and it will be easy to carry, right? So I found that one, I was like a woo. And I, and I let my sister, she said, I want that color. Okay, so I already bought it for her. Yeah, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it to her once I arrive there. I think I will be ending to Costa Rica. Even though I will send you pictures, guys, okay? <laughs> I will send you pictures about when, I, when I'm gonna be there. Do you like kids? I love kids, my heart. <laughs> I love them. Sometimes it makes me crazy. 
<laughs> especially when they eat candies, right? I think, I, I imagine that when William was um, a really young baby, maybe he was a, a, a very hyper kid. I think so. I use my imagination and also Fernando, I think so. I think Fernando was, was hyper boy. Have you asked your mother, Fernando? Or William? Uh, no, no it, it, uh, I was a very... A shy guy. No. Uh, uh, how do you I say? Know, I don't believe you. Calm, calm. Very calm. We, no. I, I, I didn't cause problems for my parents. You didn't cause never, problems? Never. never? Never. What about William? What do you think about William? <laughs> it was a calm, a shy and a calm guy. Uh, I don't know why, but I don't believe. Point, you. <laughs> no, I need to be honest. I was not a calm girl at all. <laughs> yeah, no, and I think you notice, guys, that I'm, I have a lot of energy. So to be honest with you, I was not a calm girl at all. I fall down from the stairs. I ate one bottom. What else? Um, I hit my sister on the nose. <laughs> I, well, I did a lot of things. <laughs> uh, you enjoyed uh, yours. Your... Yeah, you know what? My oldest sister, because my, my dad used to like to have a rug on the living room, right? So you know what rug is, right? Rug? Alfombra? Rug? Yeah. And um, my sister was doing some, some hand, hand things. So, and um, I remember, ha, have you seen a aguja capotera? Yeah? yeah, the huge ones, yeah? Okay, so my older sister lost the aguja capotera on the rug. And she said, hey, little baby, can you please help me find it? And I was like doing like this right on the rug, touching it. And I was like, there's nothing, there's nothing. And I already look around and I couldn't find it. And then I said, what I found it. <laughs> and it and it was here and you imagine that in the last minute I found it <laughs> yeah it was not bleeding because it was here he's here it was here in the membrane but um well kind of things like that and I also I stuck my head in one of the living room chairs and no one of the dining room chairs I stuck my head like this me trave la cabeza and uh, in a silla de mel comedor. That, ha that happens to me in really? the hospital, but how do you say cuna? Yes, I put my head in the cuna in front of the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> and supposedly when my mom and I, I was, how do you say, amarrada? Because I was doing like this, supposedly. Hangy. I was <laughs> one years old. Because I was very sick. <laughs> <laughs> I was very sick when I was a baby. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh. No, I was not sick. I was nah. managed. It's okay. I, I was managed. You know what managed is? I used to say that it's a miracle. It's a yeah. miracle that I'm alive because oh. I was in a hospital since I was born. Wow. I am Cetilla, by the way. Ah, that's <laughs> the reason why. But you know what? I'm happy that, that God could uh, let me meet you. Yes. Because you're so pretty. I am yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank oh, you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you know, I was managed. You know what managed means? Managed? Yeah. No. Remember the cartoon, Dennis, Dennis, manage. Remember that? Mr. Wilson? No. Uh, do you remember Daniel El Travieso? Okay, so in English, it's Daniel the manage. Mm -hmm. So manage is Travieso in English. So I was still with manage. For sure. <laughs> and tell me this like I believe you. <laughs> yeah, you believe me, right? Yeah. Yeah. I wish you could have met my mother. You can ask her a bunch of questions about me. <laughs> she will she has a bunch of stories of me. <laughs> Cause yeah, because I'm the baby girl. Can you imagine I'm the baby and I'm 40 something and leave it like that when I'm the baby? Yeah. My brother is 51 years old. So we are already growing up. Yeah, just tell me then, leave it like that, please. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> all righty guys well you know what i can see all of you your faces hey kenny you did something special or you cut your hair in a different way or you have put some makeup or you have put some like something on your eyelashes i don't know but you look different you look like a doll today like a baby <laughs> doll okay. I, I, i think guys i love you so much that all of you for me you're beautiful that's the reason why i think so <clears throat> of course with your wife and with your husband's permission of course right you are my babies i'm so happy guys that everybody is together alive and ready to rock and roll for the last week can you imagine guys this is the last week remember that when we started oh no they were like how is going to be the teacher everybody's like mm -hmm. And now, right, remember that we have become a really good friends and a good family and a good team, isn't it? You think? Yeah, we're good. Huh? And I also happened and was like, I told my husband, oh my God, this is the last week with the guys. <gasps> no kidding. Oh, I'm going to miss these guys. No, nah, I just, <laughs> yes, of course I will miss you guys. <laughs> and I'm so happy. So you, you will see that this week will pass really, really, really fast. We're going to learn a lot. And hopefully, being a good student, you have done your homework, right? Because you need to present it on, on set on Friday, just to let you know in advance. Okay? Ash, everybody's like, what? <laughs> All right. I'm going to send, and we're going to play something. Uh, hi, Blanky. Uh, and uh, I will send it to Fernando. Fernando, you remember that the last time we were playing something about mimic? Remember that? Yeah, we're playing about a uh, famous history guys, uh, movies, singers. Or oh, I think Fernando wasn't here. No, he was there, right? He was here with us. I remember that. But let's double check. Okay, I'm gonna mm -hmm. send it to you something. And okay. <laughs> and and the rest of the guys needs needs to like guess what exactly you're doing. Okay, I'm gonna give you a category. It's gonna be food, guys. Food. Okay, I will give you that. So let me double check. I will send you right now the word Fernando and you just need to mimic and everybody needs to guess. That's an easy one that I sent you to you, come on. <laughs> hey, look at the guys. What is he doing guys? What is he doing? Ready, Fernando? Yes. Okay, mimic. I sent you the message uh, through the chat. I didn't, I didn't receive the, to the, the Zoom, message. To the Zoom chat. Ah, yeah. Zoom. I, I'm sorry, sorry, I wasn't specified myself. I was waiting on WhatsApp. And then, no, I know that I always use WhatsApp, but for this kind of games, okay. I need to use a Zoom chat. And Jose is like paying attention. <laughs> Let's have a check who gets it. Okay. Look a at fruit? him. Hot no, it's, it's a food, but it's not a fruit. Okay. Hot dog? Hot dog. Uh, no. Uh, yes, it's a I'm fast done. food. It's a fast Humble food. Yeah. Hamburger. Nah. Nah. Continue. 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 Pizza. Pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Pizza. Good job, girl. All right. Wow, then we have pizza. And, and look at the, the expression that she uses. It's pizza. So that means that she loves. So she's a pizza holiday. I love it. I pizza. knew it. I knew it. <laughs> All right. Okay, tell me that. So you're going to be next. And let me double check. Okay, your category will be. Uh, na, 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 na. <laughs> uh let's see i will double check something that it will easy for you to do it uh, no mm -mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> and the teacher is crazy right because she's laughing more herself <laughs> okay okay this one is going to be easy for you your category is going to be movies okay movies but I, I hopefully you love cartoon movies hopefully hopefully and let me double check the middle where are you yes i found you okay 
This one is easy. Yeah, you have you seen it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Phew. Yes, I, I was searching like which ones, which one. Okay. Okay, guys, look at her. What is she doing? Movies. Shake. Shake. No movies. Looking Nemo. Look, Nemo. Look, yeah, Nemo. yeah. Looking Nemo. No, but it's shark. But no. What? Shark. I, I know it's Nemo. Nemo. Yes, but but uh. the, the verb is not the correct one. Finding. It's not looking. Yeah, Finding. it's finding, finding Nemo. Very okay. good. Yeah. <laughs> Who said it? Jesse, right? Who was Jesse? No. No. Who said it? No. Was? Really? Who's? <laughs> Natalie. Oh my God! I may apologize for that terrible inconvenience. <laughs> I really apologize. All right. I apologize for, for the verb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so, okay. For this one, you got to turn it on your camera because you will need to use it. Uh, okay. Uh, your category also will be movies. Mm -hmm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Okay, let me put you right now. Uh, 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 Madeline, there you go. Okay. Ah, <laughs> no, for this one, you will need to use another party. So I'm going to put something that you can do it by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but, all right, so I sent it to you already. Uh, <laughs> hey, that's easy. <laughs> you can also sing. Uh, <laughs> or or, or ta -da -da. you know you can like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, like that. <laughs> I don't know. Use your um, imagination. You do you have a doll by any chance? Do you have a puppet? You can use anything. La la la. I don't I don't know the the la la la. The, huh? okay. I, who said that? Yeah. Yeah, Blanky, <laughs> that was Rosen. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you see, Blanky, can you actually turn on your camera by any chance? Yes, I. I if I'm, it's possible, that's what I was asking. I'm at home. I'm ah. at home right? ah, okay, okay. So let me know if you can turn it on your camera because I'm going to send it to you okay. something. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay. All right, Blanky, I'm gonna send it to you something. <laughs> oh, I don't know if this one is going it's to be easy for you. Uh, yeah? It okay. is a movie, but this is kind of like hard. This is kind of hard. Okay. Okay, I already sent it mm. to you, so use your imagination. Yeah, this one is kind of hard because it's not easy to represent. If you have a book or something like that, look at her. Okay, she, you look like. <laughs> okay, look at her. She's doing like this. Bunk. That's a book. Yes. Okay, very good. But it's a movie. Aha, how you say that in English? Yeah, yeah. How you say that in English? Yeah, but I need an English. I don't need a Spanish one. <laughs> What? Uh, what? How you say that in English? Come on. <laughs> Where are you proving our vocabulary? What? Forest boost. Forest no. Boost. Forest is bosque. It's not salva. No, Salvo. no. Right? Salva. Salva. Uh -huh, but I need a complete title, please. The what? The, book. The, the, book. The, jungle the jungle book. book. The jungle book. Very good. Excellent. You see, you're, you're learning on review and vocabulary. And the last big thing, <laughs> the last participant. Thank you, Blanky. You did good, you see? You're really good on this game. Uh, let me double check. Francisco, you want to try? Yeah, why not? Okay, do your best, my man. Do your best. You do have kids, so I think it will be a little bit easier <laughs> for you. Let's see what we have. Mm, okay. I don't know if this one you will be able to do it, but <laughs> you know what? What the movie is this is going to be category movie as well. But this movie, guys, this is kind of old movie. It is Disney movie, by the way. I and I'm gonna give you like a, some tips. Uh, this one is like kind of the time around Dumbo's time. Remember Dumbo? 
Okay, so that is the kind of area of, of, of this um, film of movie that I sent it to Francisco. It's an old movie. I it's sent it to you already. It's a cartoon movie. Yeah, it's a cartoon movie. Yes. Yeah, oh. Disney. Disney. Mm. And I know that Disney also ha do movies with, uh, with persons, right? But uh, yes, it's an old movie. Bambi. Oh my God, Blanky, you're the best. <gasps> Francisco, this is a, a telepathic message or what? He just put no, no. his, his uh, hands, <laughs> cover his mouth, and she's like, Bambi. You know what? What well, you guess, <laughs> Blanky, because of the, the tips that I gave you. Because yeah, of the tips. That's right. Because that is an old movie. Yeah, and exactly. Bambi and Dumbo were almost the yeah. same the same time, the same age. So that's the reason why. I know. Yeah. I will give I will give Francisco another one. That was too easy for you. Uh, no way. Well, yeah. I don't like it. I what? Ah, and I will give you this I one. I don't like this. You don't like it? Uh okay. Ah, this one is easy. Okay, Francisco. You gotta do it. Okay. <laughs> this one is a Pixar movie and it's kind of brand new. And Erwin's like, oh my God, no. You need to put me Felix the Cat or something like that. Uh huh, Francisco. This is kind of hard, guys. The one that I sent to Francisco. Yes. However, I don't know how I be a food represent. Ah, it was a baby. Yes. yes. But but have you seen the movie? No. Yes. Ah, yes, okay. So you will know. Um, Just your imagination. How you represent a baby? Like this. Like this. Uh huh. This movie is about a baby, but a particular baby. Uh huh. Remember, Pixar movies about babies. What? 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 Have some pañales, yes, exactly. But how you say okay. that in English? You see, it works, Francisco. How do you say that baby in English? Boss? Yeah, the baby boss. You see, now you knew. But it's not. It's not a Pixar movie. Is it not? Really? We what? It was a Disney movie. I think that it's Paramount or something. Paramount like that. movie. Oh, DreamWorks. Oh, DreamWorks. DreamWorks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oops. That's I mean, why I, mean, I, I don't. I don't got, have a clue about it. You know what? I did that because if not, you're going to guess again. I, that's a, <laughs> that's a, that was a tricky one. <laughs> no, but that's okay. Very good, guys. We didn't have so much fun. Hey, so remember that question that I was that was asking to you when your coworker was doing the mimic? Was doing, look at what he or she doing. Ah, and what is what is doing? What is what type of verb is that? Gerund. The gerund. Very good. And tell me something. What is a, a gerund verb? Uh huh. What is a gerund verb? Verb plus ing. Uh huh. You're right. That's that is like how we create it. But when do we use it? Or how do we use it? Do you remember? Imperatives. No, imperative is not. Imperative is like that like you, you do something to command something, right? Like move on, do your homework. Okay. Yeah, listen uh -huh. carefully. Remember the imperatives doesn't have a subject. The first part is the verb. Mm -hmm. No, but this one is gerund is ing form. Yes, exactly. But when do we use it? When when do we normally use it? After after prepositions. Uh -huh. Yes, but I need the context. When do we normally use it? When you're doing uh, when in person are... continuous. In pre present continuous, exactly. When you're doing something at the time that you're speaking, right? right? Mm -hmm. Like talking, right? Okay, let's let's refresh something. Okay, what is this verb? Reading. Uh -huh. Reading. Reading. What is this verb? Sing. Sing. Singing. What is this verb? Talking. Oh, calling. Talking. Calling, calling. Oh, calling. Yeah, t talking. Yeah. And this is calling. Mm -hmm. well, we can calling, call yeah. at the same time. Talk, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Very good. 
What is this verb? Looking. Looking, uh -huh. seeing, seeing, watching. watching. Depends, right? Depends yeah. on the context. What is this verb? Smell. No, not like, smelling. 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 What is this verb? Eating. 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 Very good. What is this verb? Sleeping. Sleeping. Very good. So you see, most of the time, the generals we use it to talk about activities or actions that we're doing at the same time as speaking. So, guys, for example, right now, what are you doing right now? Studying. Studying. Studying what? What? Watching you. No, it's studying <laughs> English and watching us. Exactly. English. What Learning. else you're doing? You're you're studying. You're watching English. What else? Learning. 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 What else? Talking. Talking. What else? Practicing. Practicing. What else? Listening. Hearing. 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 Listening. 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 Okay. Listening. Listening. Very good. Exactly. So you see, we're doing all of the things at the same time, and also you're doing something else. You're guessing. See, you're guessing the verse actions. Okay, cool. So yeah, most of the time we use gerunds to talk about that. But you know what? Also, we can use gerunds as a subject. Have you seen that? Have you practiced that? Do you remember about that? No? It's kind of. Kinda. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to check that today and we're going to do a review. So don't worry about that. But I was, I was, my main concern was if you remember what was a gerund and how you formed a gerund and most likely when do we use it normally. We can use it as a subject and we can use it as an object. Both ways. Depends. But today, what we are going to see is basically we're going to see uh, both of them, guys. We're going to see in gerunds, phrases, phrases as a subject and gerund phrases as an object. What will be depending? You know what? Basically, what depends if the gerund is considered a subject or an object is, guys, the position. The position in a sentence, actually. That's all that matters. If it goes at the beginning, of the sentence, we consider subject. If it goes at the end of the sentence, we consider object. As simple as that. All that you gotta do is just basically remember, right? How you, for example, convert the verbs into ing form. And uh, that's it. Also guys, when you consider, for example, um, as a subject, that after the, the ing form, you put an extra information. Most of the time, it is with um adverb of comparison or also with an infinitive. Um, for example, um, do you remember infinitive articles? Do you remember that? A and an, a and an, undefinite article, sorry. A, for example, a sandwich, right? and apple, right? I do not specify the quantity. I'm just talking about that in general, okay? So I'm going to show it to you. Don't worry, don't get panicked like, <gasps> what is she talking about? No. Yes, exactly, when you're like, oh, almost have you have a grammar attack. Don't worry about that. It will be really easy peasy queasy, I promise that. Let's see, let me share right now my screen with you. When, welcome, Glendy. I haven't said good to say hi to you, so I apologize for that. That's it. Hey, can you see it, guys? Yeah, much yeah. better. Oh, uh, I think you would you like me to make it a little bit bigger? Bigger is better, right? Okay, okay. Yeah. what about now? Okay. Much better? Yep, yeah, okay, yeah. cool. So, if you can see it, guys, basically, you see, I want you guys all your beautiful eyes on, on the left side, which in this case, this part today, we're going to talk about first of all, adherence as a subject. If you can see the in this in this sentence, a uh, uh, being a flight attendant, only the bold letters. Where I can find the gerund in this one, in this part, where is the gerund verb here? <coughs> uh huh. Being a flight attendant. No, the gerund only. Yeah, that is the whole uh, phrase. You're you're right, Josh. Being. Being. Yeah, Very being. good. Mm -hmm. In the second one. Designing, Designing. right? Mm hmm. Working, Work. directing. You see, 
all of them are verbs, but yes. are verbs in RNG. And then if you can see here, the information that is, that is after the verb, it could be different. It could be, we're talking about profession, right? Flat attendant. We're talking about clothes in general. We're talking about another profession. And we're talking about an entertainment thing. Depends. This one, it could be something else. But what I need you to focus on is that when you're talking about gerunds as a subject, the first thing that you gotta put in the sentence is the gerund in the ing form. That's it. For example, take a look. Um, tell me that. Do me a favor. Can you please be so kind to read for me sentence number one? Being a flight attendant. Reading. Yes, just read the first part, please. Uh, in about gerund phrases, a yeah. sub subject. A subject. Yes, yes. Only the left side. Then a flight attendant sound exciting. Uh, do me a favor. Say being. 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 A flight. A flight attendant. Attendant. Sounds. Sound. You can, guys, this, this word you can pronounce in it two ways. You can say exciting or exciting. And both exciting. are correct. Okay? British or American, that's correct. So do me a favor, tell me that. Read the sentence one more time, please. Okay. Being a flight attendant sounds exciting. Very good job, girl. Exactly. So what does it mean in Spanish? What does it mean in Spanish? Mm -hmm. Ser un aeromoso o sobrecargo, depends, right? Suena excitante. You see? This guy's exciting. This is not a verb. This is an adjective. See? You need to be careful with that. Ah, it's ING is a verb. No way. Because it's excite. So it's exciting is it's an adverb. Yeah, it's an adjective to describing, describing what? That profession. The exactly. And what is the subject? Being a flight attendant, being right? Flight. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Estamos bien aquí? Are you okay with the first sentence? Jesse, William, Francisco? Yes. Jesse? I don't think so, Jesse. No. Jesse? Yes no. or no, Jesse? No, teacher. Ya sabía. I know. <laughs> That's what I was asking you. Okay. Vea. Una, voy a, tengo que practicar mi español. Lo siento, lo siento, chicos. Lo siento. Pero no es muy bueno. All right. Bueno. Fíjate una cosa, Jesse. Usualmente, ¿verdad? Los gerunds son verbos, ¿no? Sí. Um, y los ocupamos para, pues, describir algo que estamos haciendo. Como lo que estábamos viendo al principio. Pero... Los gerunds también los podemos usar como sujetos de una oración y como objetos de una oración, ¿sí? Ahorita quiero que te enfoques solo en esta parte. No te veas para otro lado. Entonces, por ejemplo, si yo lo quiero usar como sujeto en una oración, aunque yo sé que el verbo es así, ¿verdad? Pero en este caso, eh, Jesse, no estás haciendo la función de verbo está haciendo la función de un sujeto. Aunque dice ser un sobrecargo hermoso, porque flight attendant es para los dos chicos, okay. chicos y chicas. Yeah. Ser yeah. un, o sea, en otras palabras, ser o ejercer esa profesión, mm -hmm. ¿sí? Suena mm -hmm. excitante. O por mm -hmm. ejemplo, yo puedo decir, being a teacher is very interesting, right? Es muy interesante. Mm -hmm. O mm -hmm. is very stressful, depende, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Mm -hmm. ¿Me entiendes? Yeah. Hoy sí. Yeah. Bueno, muy bien, excelente. Hoy, por ejemplo, vemos la segunda. Jesse, me lo puedes leer, por favor? Okay. Designing clothes, clothes is not a man's job. Ajá. Designing clothes is not a man's job. Diseñar ropa no mm -hmm. es trabajo de hombre, ¿sí? Mm -hmm. ¿Me entiendes? Estamos mm -hmm. hablando de diseñar en general. ¿Ves que 
el, el diseño de las ropas, ¿no? Esto, si tú te fijas. The profession. Right. The profession, exactly. ¿Ves cómo va funcionando la cosa? Uh -huh. Ajá. Teacher. Yes. Who yes. yeah. said teacher? Tell me that. Yes, go ahead. I have a question. Go ahead, girl. You say, um, when you say being, being, mm -hmm. being, excuse me, uh, you are uh, described in, in action, no, ser, ser un uh, sobrecargo. Ajá. Eso fue mi, 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 mi problema cuando quise traducirlo al español, ser, Ajá. siendo un sobrecargo o diseñando es, uh -huh. la tra es eh, la traducción correcta o diseñar no diseñar sería es la profesión es el profesión de describir la profesión But, no la acción de hacer las cosas en este tipo de en, 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 ajá, en, en este, este contexto en este contexto porque acuérdate que los gerundios en inglés el inglés es tan tan versátil que tú lo puedes usar de misma manera. Por ejemplo, un, usualmente nosotros hemos sabido toda la vida que un gerundio se compone de un verbo y un ing al final, ¿verdad? Y lo hemos no. usado tal cual está, pero también se pueden usar de otras dos maneras, como lo que estamos viendo ahorita. Un gerundio, aunque se, 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 for, se forma igual el verbo más el, el ing, pero... Cuando tú lo usas al principio de una oración, ya no está haciendo la función de verbo. Ajá, eso está es haciendo la saber. función de sujeto. Sí, okay. lo, lo uh -huh. pones al principio de la oración. Ya vamos a ver cuando sea objeto y ya es otra cosa. Pero eso hoy sí me entiendes. Claro, okay. sí, 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 okay. sí. Perfecto. Sí. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks, teacher. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, let's see. Fernando, ¿me puedes leer la tercera, please? Uh, working as a veterinarian could be rewarding. Mm -hmm. That means that if you are a veterinarian, you can earn money, right? Well, or it could be rewarding if you love animals, for example. You could save an animal's life, right? Yeah, or you can make the owner happy. Yes, of course. You know what? I'll, I wish I could be veterinarian, but the problem is that I have a chicken heart. <laughs> Yes, I cry with the dog, with the cat. No way. Yeah, I think I have the knowledge and I think I have the brain, but um, I don't have the heart. So I'd say no. Yeah, I will cry with the, with the cat and the baby. Well, I will cry enough. So I'm not, I won't be able to be any kind of doctor. No way. No, <laughs> I think I'm too sensitive and emotional, bro. No way. What about the last one? Uh, Mr. Erwin Lagos. Do me a favor. He is. He was thinking. When the teacher is going to ask me? When is going to ask me? There you go, sir. That is your turn. Can you please read for me the last sentence, sir? Okay. Directing at the TV show. TV show will be interesting. Uh huh. And it's right. The directing at TV show could be interesting. What do you think, guys? For me, it's interesting. Depends on what TV show, right? <laughs> 12 corazones dijeron por ahí, pero no way. Ok, guys, so tell me something. Díganme algo. Gerald's as phrases as, um, as a subject. Is it clear? <laughs> Francisco, like, <laughs> ¿está claro esta parte? Yes, teacher. Yeah, just this one, right? Because yes. we haven't seen the, the other one. Ok, cool, guys. So now I want your beautiful eyes to move from to this part. Now we're going to talk about the gerunds, but not as a subject. We're going to talk about as an object. And this time I was explaining to Kenny that you see, guys, this one, it goes at the end of the sentence. You see? It goes at the end of the sentence. And now you do something different. You see? Now we have a regular subject. You see? He, she, etc. Right? We can use would, we can use have, depends. We can use that, you see here, guys? Take a look at this. Here, we have a main verb, you see? We have a main verb, loved. We have a main verb, like. We do have another verb, enjoyed. And here, we have be, remember, you see? 
as a subject, there was no other verb, you see? But as an object, yes. So the first thing that you gotta remember is that when you're using a gerund as an object, you it has to be at the end, at the end of the sentence. That is one clue. The subject, it could be some, somebody else. It could be a pronoun or it could be at the name of the person. And you're going to use an auxiliary verb and a main verb. Take a look at this one. Let's read it for us. Um, Joshi, do me a favor. Um, Can you please yeah. be so kind to read for me the first sentence? Okay. Yeah, phrases the subject, right? Uh -huh. You would love being a flight attendant. Uh -huh. You would love being a flight attendant. Te amarás ser un aeromoso o un sobrecargo. Ajá, Telmita. Tienes un gran question mark. Go ahead. Yes. Ok, dale. La traducción sería a él, a él le gustaría convertirse en un sobrecargo. Uh -huh. O a María, o a María. A María. A sí. María. A María. Ser, ser un sobrecargo. O, uh -huh, o, sí, exacto. Exacto. What about the second? Now that you have your, your uh, microphone off. Oh, sorry. Tell me that. Can you please be so kind to read for me the second sentence? Thank you, Joshi. Okay. You're oh. welcome. Go ahead, tell me. That. He wouldn't like being a fashion, a fashion designer. Exactly. No le gustaría ser un diseñador de moda, right? He wouldn't like being, right? You see? No le gustaría ser. Exactly. Si tú te fijas, aquí estamos hablando más específicamente de la profesión. No le gustaría ejercer esta profesión. ¿Sí? ¿Me entienden? Ya es otro punto diferente. Muy bien. Um, Fernando, can you please be so kind to read for me the last one? No, sorry. The number third, please. Three. Mm -hmm. enjoy working with animals uh-huh okay how do you understand that sentence ella disfrutaría trabajar con animales mm -hmm. Le, ella disfrutaría very good exactly and the last but no least Josuecito can you please be so kind to read for me the last sentence She'll be good at uh, directing a TV show. Very good. She'll be good at directing a TV show. Ella sería buena, ¿verdad? Para conductora de un programa. Very good. ¿Ves que ahorita ya estamos hablando de otra cosa? Signif de dependiendo cómo tú usas el gerundio, it could be one thing or it could be another thing. Mm -hmm. ¿O sí? Do you have guys any doubts so far? So far, if not, don't worry. We will continue practicing. We'll continue practicing. Mm -hmm. All righty. Yeah. No questions. It means there are there are exceptions uh, to use ground uh, germ. Mm. Well, yes, they are. But to be honest with you, that will be a different topic. Because that's a little bit extended. Okay. Yes, but they are, but they are. Right now, so far, you have seen, for example, um, how to use gerund as a regular way, right? As a verbs, how to use gerund as a subject, and how to use gerund as an object. That is what we have seen. But there are some exceptions. It depends exactly, Madeline, what you would like to say. Definitely. You see? Sometimes you like English and sometimes you hate it, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. Be, it's, be, it's because uh, we have like, what can I say, guys? For example, the ones who actually was, we have uh, spoken that since a very little age or young age, we had never thought about grammar, right? But we had to like learn grammar as you're learning, for example, a language subject in Spanish, right? We're doing that in English as well. But we are so, they do have so variety because also as in Spanish, Spanish has like more um, modalidades, right? 
you have a lot of things depends on which culture and which country you're coming from also in english also in english you cannot imagine hey talking about that do you remember that i sent you like a video about uh three countries that speaks english and three different ways to say the same thing remember it was uk australia and i think it was uh american hopefully you have seen it have you seen it did you watch it or no ay, 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 ay. i'm gonna send it to you again and please watch it because that's gonna help you a lot and i'm gonna search madeline for more information about exceptions okay so you can have it with you okay thank mm -hmm. you yes i will but they are definitely they are there you go Okay, so let me move on. Okay, I want you guys so we can practice that. Basically, okay, guys, these ones I want your help because uh, we have three columns in this X speaking activity that we're about to do. So we need to, like, for example, pick information from letter A, information from letter B, and information from letter C. So we can, like, for example, create an idea or create a sentence. You will see in a minute what I'm talking about. Let's see what I have. Is it better? I think I'm going to put it bigger. Can you see that? Yes? Yes. OK, cool. Yes. So if you see, guys, in letter A, we have eight sentences that practically are um, the beginning of the sentences. If you can see that, just take a look at the letter A and tell me something. Jaron is using as an object or as a subject in, in letter A. I need you to help me only in letter A, you see? Working as an accountant, taking care of children, being a farmer, designing clothes, working in a movie set. It's a subject. Exactly, exactly. Why? Why as a subject? What is one tip? Because they are context means uh-huh exactly so if it's like a like a subject in this case all that we gotta do guys is take one information on here then double check which verb might fit correctly and then which adjective we can use seems sounds could be would be must be and then we have the adjectives Awful, stressful, <laughs> fantastic, fascinating, pretty or pretty difficult, kind of boring, really rewarding, and very challenging. Before we do the, um, we can say the speaking activity, I want you guys to practice the pronunciation of these verbs and adjectives, okay? So repeat after me. Seems. 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 Sounds. 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 Sound. Could be. Could be. Could be. Would be. Would be. Would be. Would be. Must be. Must, Must be. be. Very good. Now that's this one. Awful. 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 Stressful. 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 Ah, uh, no, no, no. I heard it's stressful. It's not a stressful. It's stressful. 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 What? Stressful. Stressful. Very good. Fantastic. 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 Fascinating. 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 Pretty difficult. Pretty difficult. difficult. Pretty difficult. Difficult. Pretty, pretty, pretty uh -uh. difficult. I cannot hear you. Pretty difficult or pretty difficult? Pretty, pretty difficult. difficult. Very good. Kind of boring. Kind of boring. Kind of boring. Uh -uh. Look at this. We're going to join this. Kind of boring. Kind of boring. Very good. Really rewarding. Really, really rewarding. 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 Remember, like the the, the smiley cat for uh, um, uh, El País de las Maravillas. He was like this, yeah. Uh -huh. So that's that's what I want that you uh, pronounce. Really rewarding. Really, really, really rewarding. rewarding. Yoshi. 
Rewarding. Really rewarding. Ajá. Yo, no te preocupes si te ves bien así, Lee. ¿Sí? All right, very good. Ok, Telmita. Really rewarding. Really rewarding. Very good. Francisco. Really rewarding. Really rewarding. Very good. Yoshi, continue. Really rewarding. Again, really rewarding. Very good. Yes, again. Madeline, I want to see your beautiful face. Okay. <laughs> really rewarding. Yeah, you see, you have a pretty nice smile. <laughs> Yay, very good. Francisco, please, really rewarding. Really rewarding. Very good. Fernando. Really rewarding. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Jesse. Really rewarding. Very good. Hey, I like your smile. Very good. William. Really rewarding. Very good. <laughs> and like the uh, William's like <laughs> at the end. <laughs> that was awesome, sir. All right, Jose, what about you? Really rewarding. Very good. Mr. Lagos, what about you? Really rewarding. Very good. Kenny, what about you, girl? Kenny. Really rewarding. Very good. Kathy. Really rewarding. Very good. Jarvin, are you there? Yes. Okay. Can you please repeat it for me? Really rewarding. Very good. Uh, Blanky, what about you, girl? Blanky. Sorry, I can I can put the, the <laughs> No, that's okay. That's okay. Don't worry. Okay. Really rewarding. Really rewarding. Very good. And finally, Glendy, are you there? Glenn, yes. I want to see your face. Really rewarding, please. Really rewarding. Very good. Excellent. Good job, guys. And the last one, very challenging. Very challenging. Yeah. No, not challenging. Very challenging. Very challenging. Very challenging. Very challenging. See? Challenging. Challenging. Exactly. Challenging. Challenging. How do you say? Challenging. Challenging. Uh -huh. Challenging. Excellent. Good job. Good job. You see, when you have an attitude, it comes like easy. Challenging. You're so challenging, man. Yeah. Yeah, good. Very good. Okay. So now, guys, you are going to repeat it. I'm not going to help you. If you make a mistake, eh, I will mark it as a down. Okay. So are you ready? Okay. What's the first one? This one. Awful. Uh -huh. Awful. Continue. Stressful. Uh -huh. Stressful. Fantastic. Uh -huh. Fantastic. Fascinating. 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 Uh -huh. Fascinating. Very difficult. Very uh -huh. difficult. Very difficult. Kind of boring. Very boring. Very boring. Very boring. Very boring. Very boring. Very boring. Only this one you didn't pronounce correct. Stressful. 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 Uh -huh. Yeah, I know it's hard because we used to like put some vowels here, like E, for example, but no, it's just stressful. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, so now help me. Okay, so the first one, the first sentence, working as an accountant could uh -huh. be stressful. <laughs> Could be stressful, could like be, me. Yeah, that is. Could be very stressful. Okay, could be stressful. Okay. Yeah. There you go. That's good. Okay, let's change color. Uh, taking care of children. Very difficult. Uh -huh. uh, but could be, must be, be. sounds. Sounds. Must be very difficult. Must be. Must be. Must be. Pretty difficult. Pretty difficult. Okay. Being a farmer? Sounds. Sounds. Sounds what? Sounds. Sounds? Fantastic. Fine, boring. Fantastic of kind of boring. Kind of boring. Kind of boring. Okay. All right. Uh, designing clothes? Seems fantastic. Yeah. Things fantastic. Okay, 
awful. Awful. Oh, okay, it depends, right, of your point of view. All right, <laughs> working on a movie set. Sounds very challenging. Sounds fascinating. Sounds fascinating? Yeah. Okay, sounds fascinating. Okay, there you go. Okay, cool. Uh, making a living as an artist? You can use uh, the same verbs, don't worry. Sounds, same. Making a living as an artist could be very challenging. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to a different cover. Could be very challenging, you said. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. And could be very challenging. All right, yeah, there we go. Uh doing volunteer work overseas. Really rewarding. Seems so it sounds. Mm -hmm. must be. I think it must be, right? Must be. Yeah, really rewarding. Okay, mm -hmm. retiring at age of 40. <laughs> this man. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What? Could be. Could be. Could be. Could be. Could be. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because right now I will be retired. <laughs> that will be awesome. Yeah. We like, right? We wish. But no way. No. Ah, no. You, do you would you like to be retired at uh, uh, the age of 40, guys? No. Yeah, it's Brazil, a dream. Yeah. It's a dream come true. Tell me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we know. You know what? Some guys said no because I don't know what am I gonna do in my house. Uh, so, so, but you know what? I remember that my the father of my father, right? <laughs> my grandpa from my father's side. Uh, when he got retired and he stayed at home, he got sick. He got sick for different things. One thing and then another and then another it was like no when he and he used to say when I was working I was really a healthy man but now I'm gonna stay home all the malice comes <laughs> and it was <laughs> yeah and he started with gota and the on the legs so oh my goodness yeah so he said no I I I wish I could still be working he said but <laughs> no because it's a it's a um person very active <laughs> yes he used to be yes. very active he used to work as an administrative department in the um, how do you say that in spanish wait a minute <sighs> beneficio de cafe beneficio yeah beneficio de cafe yeah it's like that right he used to work yeah. in santa Ana. yeah so I remember, I ah, remember. In Monedero, Santa Ana, yeah. I think so. I think it's yes, the one. Yes. Yeah. I, I remember that uh, there was, I think, the yes, the only time when I could eat, eat um, I, the, the little caracols, caracols that are grown on the river. How you say that? Jutes? Jutes? Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that was the only time that I could try them on because they were clean. In soap is the issue. Oh, yes. Yeah. But, but nowadays it's really hard to find them. Well, it's not mm. that easy to find it, but also they come with a clean environment, right? Because it's not easy, but it's really nice. I love it and I washed it. Ooh, that was the best one. All righty. Very yeah. good. Yes. So you see, guys, that we practiced and it was really, really interesting. Now, guys, I'm going to put you together as a group. Right now it's 907, right? Okay. So, uh, Mr. IT Department, I would really appreciate it if you let me know once you receive um, all the information. Bear with me for a couple of minutes. Okay, this is a writing activity, guys. I'm going to provide it to you now, gerunds as an object. And basically, you're just going to have just the first part, just the first part of the sentence, and you gotta invent. You gotta invent the rest. 
that's what you got to do. Let me search, let me just um, share it with you. This is the information I just, just sent it to you. Can you see it, guys? Can you see it here? Let's yes. see, I'm going to put, yeah. yeah. All right, that's yeah. the one that you have, you see? So this one, this one is gerund phrases as an object. All that I got to do is basically complete. Complete the information. The first exercise was a speaking exercise that Jaron as a subject. Now we're going to work Jaron's as an object. And I'll give you the first part. And then you gotta think about the rest. You're gonna work in, in groups right now. And I think everybody has it. Do you, everybody has it on the WhatsApp? Cause I sent it to the WhatsApp right now. Yeah. Okay, we are 14. Because with me, we are 15. So I'm going to divide it in two groups, seven and seven. We are right now 9-11, so I will give you until 9-20 to finish. Do you think it will be enough time? Yeah, it will be eight. No, Jesse, Jesse's honest. She said, no way, teacher, but let's do our best. Okay, so let me decide to work in two groups. It will be seven and seven. Okay, I'm going to put it randomly. So please accept the invitation, work with your partners. If you want to guys, because I think there are like eight sentences, you can, you can set, for example, you can assign one sentence to each group member so you can work faster, okay? If you would like to. Or if you would like to, you can do the whole sentences, the whole eight sentences together as a team. Whatever makes you feel comfortable and works for you. Do you understand what I'm, what I'm saying? Yeah, Fernando Surincon, yes. Okay, cool. All right, accept invitation, please. You got until 9.20. That will be enough time. We need to finish the sentences with Jaron. Guys, do you understand what you are going to do? Entiende lo que van a hacer? Yes or no? Be honest. That's okay for me. Yes. I think. <laughs> I, you think? What I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to send it to you, the information, but the information of the Jerome phrases as objects, because that is what you're going to do in this exercise. I'm going to send it to you right now. That will be through the chat of the website, of the WhatsApp, sorry. So you will be able to double check that, okay? You just have the idea how you construct the sentence using gerunds as an object. You just have to like continue with the idea of what you have there. That's what you had to do. For example, the first one, I will give you like an example, but don't copy, okay? <laughs> the first one is I be interested in, right? I would be interested in, right? That's the mm -hmm. first one. Okay, so you can say it. I will be interested in what? Working with children in my case. What about okay. you? What you will be interested in? Will be interested in like, for example, working with animals? Uh, flying around the world? Who? I don't know. Just mm -hmm. your imagination. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just need you to complete the idea. Yeah. That's all. Okay. Cool, you still have five minutes. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Okay, cool. <clears throat> I'd be interested. Interest. 
Guys, do you know what you're doing? Yes. 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 Okay, I send you like the extra information on the WhatsApp chat, just the part of what you're exactly you're going to work today because right now the second exercise is gerund as an object, okay? So for example, remember the first sentence that you have there? I'll be interested in, right? Is the first one I'll be interested in. In my case, I can say, I've been interested in working with children. That is my case. But for example, Telmita says, Telmita loves animals. So you can say, I'll be interested in working with animals. Or maybe Alexander likes to, to travel around the world. Mm -hmm. So you said, eh, I'll be interested in flying around the world. You see? So yeah. you see the idea how you're going to do? Yes, yes. That's okay. what I want. Yeah. You still have four minutes to go. Okay. I will give you more until 9.25, okay? I will give you more time. Okay, okay guys, continue working. You're doing fine. Entonces, la segunda quedaría exercising. No, porque era... Uh, it's doing. Doing, uh -huh. doing exercise. Déjeme pues, estamos haciendo, sorry, que la, la luz de, tuve un apagón de luz, así que me desconecto, solo sería, ah. ah, estamos completando las eh, oraciones usando gerund phrases as objects, o sea, de que ah, okay. no iría al principio, sino que iría como al final, con ING. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. so, um, mm. I think I think I be good at starting English. Ah. <laughs> we are starting English. <laughs> Sleeping, sleeping all day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As a lazy. Raising in peace. What? No, it is just a joke. Oh. <laughs> Hello, teacher. All day long. Teacher? I have Could you problems hear with my connection. I get tired of sleeping all day long. <laughs> Can you listen to me? Yeah. Yeah. I... Okay. Writing. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. I have problems with my connection. Can you listen to me? Yeah, I listen to you. I, I hate my internet. Which uh -huh. number did you make already? Mm. 
Jackson's show. Mm -hmm. Wait and join. Okay, number three, maybe I I'd be very excited about winning the contest. I don't know is correct the sentence. Yeah, that's that's a good one. But uh, what is the general in this case? Winning. Winning a contest. Winning a contest. Or number three. Yeah. Wow. Yes. And number two, I wrote, I get tired of working every day without the up. Yeah. I enjoy eating delicious food. The fourth. Did you finish? No. No? Okay. Almost. Just okay. two. Just two. Okay. You will still have until night 25. Okay. And we're going to come okay. back at the time. Okay, continue working, guys. You're doing good. I. Did you finish already? Yes. Yes? You sure? The eight sentences? Yes. I think so. <laughs> Uh -huh, I think so. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we, we are 923, but the other group, I think they're still missing a couple of sentences. So we're going to go back together on 925. I want everybody to be to be out of the rooms, and we're going to go back to the main screen, okay? Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you, guys. Seis, seis horas Y ella dijo ocho. Yes, but there are six. Yeah. There are six? Yes. yes. Ah, <laughs> okay. Well, I thought I sent it to you more. No. No? Okay, I think I'm going to send it to you more if you want it to. <laughs> no. No. Uh -huh. No more? No, we're okay. You, are you okay? Come on. No. Oh, my God. Yes, two more. Invent one. One on your own. Okay. I just, come on. No way. Well, is, is it busy, please? Okay, but, but you have it in one minute. No, only one minute you have to do that. Yeah. Oops. Okay, guys, it's time to come back. Okay, guys, how was activity? Was it interesting? What makes you think? Okay, let's double check. Let's use your imagination. Guys, I'm gonna evaluate on this one, not only the good reading of the first part of the sentence, but as well, what uh, verb you use it, how fluency you say things, 
and what is exactly the um, how confident you sound when you're when you're saying okay when you are speaking that's what i'm going to evaluate right now so let's double check i teach you you're scared me nah, come on it's not all right okay thank you so much for participating you are the best francisco number one please <laughs> Thank you so much for being a first volunteer. Try. Francisco, go, I know. Yeah. I'm, yeah, yeah, you can do it. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> I will be interested in... Um, I'd, oh. I'd be interested. I'd, I'd be interested in... I'd be interested in, in working in the USA. Oh, very good. That's a good one. Excellent. Uh, Kathy, what about number two? Thank you, Francisco. You're good. I get tired working all day. I get tired of. You gotta use the of. Um, okay. I get tired of working all day. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I've been working since really early morning until now, but I I like what I do, but of course, you got tired. I understand that perfectly. And you are young. Imagine my age. <laughs> yes, don't imagine, okay? Don't use your imagination. <laughs> All righty, very good. Joshi, what about number three? What do you have for us? Number three, Joshi. Okay, I will be very excited about traveling a lot. I would be, or I'd be very excited. I'd be very excited. About traveling a lot, you said. Mm. Yes. Uh, and tell me something. Talking about that, would you like to go alone, or you would you like to go with some of your classmates? Um, uh, in the past, I would like to go alone. Uh, in some countries, for example, because I really <laughs> like to take pictures. And <laughs> look at William. Look at William. Say, yeah, please, I want to go with you. <laughs> Uh, hey, tell me right now if you if they said uh, you have won a um, uh, trip to Europe, to France, to Belgium, and uh, to uh, basically what can said uh, England, uh, who you pick to go with you? Who would you pick? If I had the opportunity just to choose one person, I will pick up my daughter, of course. No, 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 of course, your daughter, but talking about your classmates. Mm, from here, nobody, sorry. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> can you I imagine? Maybe in London, please. Come on, right? Okay. I will take my bestie. Your bestie? Yes. Oh, I the will, teacher. The teacher. No, I'm not, I'm not her bestie. <laughs> no, nah, I'm not her BFF forever. I never know. I wish, but I'm not. So she's not going to pick me, definitely. <laughs> that's okay, but that's okay. I will pick all of you guys. Including me? Of course, even <laughs> though you don't want to go with, with the rest. Yes, of course, including you and not. I'm impartial. Okay. That's good. <laughs> yes, that's good. And with your daughter as well. Nice. Thank you, Joshi. Thank you so much. Uh, number four, William, what do you have for us? Number four. I enjoy traveling around the world. You enjoy traveling around the world? Oh my God, everybody wants to travel around the world. You know what? I thought you would say, I enjoyed drinking tea at night. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I thought you would say that. I forgot that. You forgot, right? And you were, you, you were drinking tea, right? Yes. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah, I saw your glass of, of tea, but it was a, a warm tea, a hot tea, or a cold tea? Warm tea. Warm tea. Okay, cool. Yeah, a beer tea. Yeah. <laughs> Fernando <laughs> and Surincon. What about number five? Okay, I think I be good at teaching. Good at. Good uh, at. Programming. Good at. Get a teaching programming? Yes. Oh, excuse me. Really? Ooh. Okay, can we, one of your first uh, students, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ah, you will suffer, man, with me. <laughs> Melas Bengari. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> Very good. And the last but not least, hmm. <coughs> Jarvin, what about number six? Number six is I gonna be very good at mm -hmm. dancing salsa. Dancing salsa? No way, Jarvin. And to be honest with you, the first time that I saw you, I said, oh, this is a dancing man. It's a really, really? good dancer, right, Delmita? You see, Delmita does agree with me because you yes, look like that. Yes, yes. When yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're, you, but dancing salsa or we're talking about dancing in general? No, I like dance. Ah, you like to dance? Yes, I like to dance, yes. But no I was, uh, Yes, I, li so, I like all kinds of music. But why you said that you wouldn't be good at? Ah, because some, some partners said us. <laughs> uh, no, that no serias bueno. Ah, uh, yes. It, it, I, was a, it was negative. I, I wouldn't yes, be yes, good I know, at it. I know, I know that. Another oh, that said that teacher. What? Who said we were that? Talking about that in, in the exercise. Yes. Yeah. You were talking about that in exercise? Yes, yes another one says. Just an example. Ah, ah, okay. But Jarvin, you're telling the truth that you're not good at uh, dancing thousand. Oh no, no, no. I'm oh, asking. Oh. I'm asking. Ah, okay. That, that is a true a truth information oh. from you or not? No. Ah, no, so I, I want a truth information about you. Okay. Uh-huh. You wouldn't be good at lying. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or I would like to teach you. <laughs> oh, you see, yeah. Permita? Yes, I love dancing salsa. Mm -hmm. And song also. Mm -hmm. Song, do you know what is, what is, no. Tango, I, 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 I can't. Oh, yeah, it's that difficult. is really dumb. Yes, and you got to have a pun. Yes. <laughs> oh, no, th that is a really dramatic dance. Woo. I love it. Mm -hmm. Bachata have a, uh, is, 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 uh, baile prohibido. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, it's an X, X, X dance. Okay, cool. All righty. <laughs> hey, you know, you see, guys, we have two new uh, we can say schools. We got programming schools from Fernando, and we do have a dancing studio with Telma. That's amazing. Woof. You know that we're going to have a headache after finishing Fernando's classes, and we can go to Telma's studio to like relax a little bit and stress out, right? That would be awesome. <laughs> that would be I really go good. Yeah, you want to go to the studio? Yeah. You can decide it's either go to the first uh, with Fernando and then with Telma or first with Telma and then with Fernando. It's up to you. But I think I will go Fernando and Telma. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that would be awesome. Very good. And what is the, la uh, the last one? Okay, we're ready to finish. Okay, cool, guys. Excellent. Hey. So you see how we can practice and how we can determine the gerunds that we can use it as a subject and as an object. So you see, uh, maybe guys, maybe you have already used it. I think so. But the problem is that you couldn't identify that you were using a gerund as a subject or, uh, or you have listened to it, but you couldn't understand why the person or the, the person that I was talking to was using that phrase, is that right? Or is the first time that you're listening that, that you're using the gerund as a subject and as an object? Is the first time or no? Is la primera vez que ocupan el gerund como subject, como object, or not really? Es la primera vez? Yeah. It's my first The first time? Oh, ya lo habían yeah, oído? because solo en libros. Oh, okay. Ya lo habían escuchado a alguien hablar? Yes. Yes, right. But but sometimes you identified it and you said, why he is using a gerund like that one? Well, the said it, cause right? Okay, cool. Okay, guys, we're we are uh, finishing right now with gerunds. I'm going to send you um uh, an exercise so you can practice at home. But I'm gonna I want you guys to take a look about something that is really important and that is really important to learn not only the type of that we have but also what will be the correct one when we are talking about professions um do you remember what is a suffix 
¿Qué es un sufijo? ¿Un suffix? ¿No? No. No. It's a termination. Um, that uh, most likely we use it, for example, when we're talking about jobs and professions. In English, guys, we have hmm, a lot of them. But in this case, if we're talking about um, professions, we have at least three um, suffix that I want to share right now with you. So let me share with you the three termination. We got, I'm going to put it here. We got ER. Let's see what else we have. Uh -huh. I-S-T, I-A-N. Mm -hmm. I-S-T, whoops. And I-A-N. Let's see if we have it here. Let me remove this. I will check really quickly because sometimes I need to change it into Spanish, into English, and so on. There you go. Uh -huh. So let me check if it's correct. Yes, it is. Okay, so let me just send it to you. Okay, I send it to you the first three, of course. E is in capitalized because remember that is um, in, um, beginning a sentence, right? However, the suffix is, is a word that you put at the end. For example, remember that in Spanish, electricista, electricista. So the suffix in that in that word is ista. See? Como florista, ista. See? So in English, we do have actually a, a lot of suffix, but we use three, the most common one when we're talking about doves. So what I'm gonna do, I will ask you something. And I want your opinion. Let's see what we have here. I will send it to you something right now via WhatsApp. No, or we'll via here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let me check. 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 Yeah, da, 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 da. Yes, I'm going to send it right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, through the WhatsApp. And let me know which of the suffixes you consider that will go correct on the first job. Okay, I just send you right now a word a job but remember we have three we have er ist and ian so that's the first um job is computer technique is computer technique error computer technicist or computer technician which one do you think is the best who is the correct one Computer technician. Technician. Yeah. Very yeah. good, Jesse. Very good. Yeah, computer technician. Exactly. Very good. So this is what you're gonna do. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. So let me just uh, 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 share right now my screen with you. So let me put it a little bit bigger. There you go. Okay, there you go. Okay, that is the first one that we have seen here, you see? But we have some more. We have factory subvert, gossip column, Advisor. guiding council, political, physical, TV report, and so keep, mm -hmm. I'm not going to provide you the terminations. So let me ask you, the second one, factory super, supervisor. So what is the Advisor. suffix here? O R. So really? really? Uh-huh. Are you sure? Yes. We have, uh-huh, we have OR here, right? Yes, it is OR. Uh-huh. All right, cool. What about this one? Columnist. Column. Gossip columnist? So is IST? Yes. Yeah. All right. Yes. Yeah. All right, what about this one? Guidance Council, what? Counselors, I guess. Counselors, counselor, 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 
Yes. With a E R O O R. E R. E R. Very good. What about politic politician? Politician. Politician. I A N. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What about Sakaya? Priest. Sakaya what? Psychiatrist. Psychiatrist. Okay. Oh, so what is the suffix termination? I T. Very good. What about TV? TV what? Reporter. 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 ER, right? All right. And the last one? Two keeper. 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 Two keeper. All righty. Very good. Okay. So in the ER, we have what? From this one, from this list, we have CP report. Guidance what? Guidance counselor. Guidance counselor. Uh huh. TV what reporter. Else? Uh huh. TV reporter, and that's that's it, or no? And zookeeper. Zookeeper. Ah, uh huh. I put here TV reporter. Whoops, teacher, what happened? And zookeeper, you said. Okay, cool. Okay, what about for OR? Which one we have? Only one, right? Factory supervisor. Factory supervisor. Yeah, factory supervisor. All right. What about ISC? What we have there? Gossip columnist. Gossip columnist. Gossip columnist. Is only one we have, or we have more than one? Psychiatrist. 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 <laughs> Don't worry, we're going to practice that. We're going to Hi, practice the pronunciation, so don't worry about that. I just want you right now to help me with the phys with the physics. Psychiatrist. Psychiatrist. I know, I know it's really hard. <laughs> Not only to write it, but at the same time to spell it and to speak. It. Okay, that is the only one, right? And what about yeah. IAN besides computer technician? What else we have? Politician. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, what else? Yes, just that. Does that right? And yeah. computer technician. Okay, guys, so do me a favor. Let's repeat right now the pronunciation and then we're going to uh, play some games. You will okay. see. All right, repeat after me computer technician. Computer technician. Computer technician. Very good. Factory supervisor. Factory supervisor. supervisor. Gossip columnist. Gossip, Gossip columnist. columnist. Mr. Irwin, guidance counselor. This one, guidance, guidance counselor. Can you please repeat it? Guidance counselor. Very good. Repeat that. Politician. Politician. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Erwin. Everybody, psychiatrist. 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 TV reporter. TV reporter. Zookeeper. Zookeeper. Very good. So now do a favor. Okay, hopefully you will have a memory. If not, of course, I'd be a nice teacher that I already, I think I already sent it to you the WhatsApp, right? Let's see if I send it to you. Ah, no, I didn't. <laughs> okay. Have you already, uh, you know what, in the States, guys, we have a lot of contents from, from uh, students from schools, for public schools, actually. And one of the main contents that we do have is actually spelling. It, we call the spelling bee, actually. It's hard because we start from a really basic words to words like um, psychologists, psychiatrists, astronomers all the time. So the guys, the babies, they need to like learn by memory how to spell it. And they need to spell it correctly. They are like a national contents about that. So we're going to work on that. Mm. And let me ask William. Do me a favor, William. Could you please be so kind to spell for me zookeeper? Z O O K E P E R. Are you sure it's only one E? You can, you, you, yeah, you know, you can do it one more time. You have only one more chance. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Z. Uh huh. O O K 
Key or K? K. K, sorry. K, very good. E E P E R. Fantastic. Very good job. Now say it one more time, but without doubts. You need to be self confident. Go ahead. Look at Z O O K E E P E R. Very good. Good job. But you see that when we are like thinking, <laughs> everybody's like, Z O O K E E P. -E no, no. I just want you to like eye contact. Work on that. Look at me. And spell it once again. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, Z O O K E E P E R. Very good. But just remember that K is, is K, no key. Yeah. <laughs> because if you're saying key is the one that you use to open the door. Okay. Yeah. Very good job. Excellent. Fernando, computer technician. Computer technician. Well, my Jess is like, what? Look at her voice. Okay, computer technician. Could you please be so kind to spell it for me? C O M P U T I R R I R or E R E R. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, do it one more time. Uh, C O M P U T R E R. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, computer, but yes. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. And what about technician? Don't T E C H N I C I A N. Fantastic. Now do me a favor. I need the whole work without doubting. Computer oh. technician. Go ahead, guy. You can do it, sir. Again. Okay. Yes, sir. But without doubting. Uh, C O M P. <sighs> O-M-P-U-T-E-R. Uh-huh. And the other word? E-C-H-N-I-C-I-A-N. Fantastic. Good job. You see? You were like, eh, phew. <laughs> I think you're going to bring about that word today. I promise. Uh, and your wife the will technician be. is is a word uh, in in my life, my previous job. That's what I every, asked every, you. Every day I saw that that word. Uh -huh. <laughs> you English. saw it, but you never had think about it about the, the, the spelling, spelling, right? Uh -huh. yeah, spelling. It's uh, different. Uh, it's different. Yes, it, it is tricky because it's, it's not like easy to write, right? But okay, I'll do your best. Okay, cool, cool. Let's see, uh, 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 Madeline. Miss Madeline, it's been a pleasure. Okay. TV reporter, please. T B R E P O T E R. Reporter. Are uh, you sure? Are you not missing any letter? You're missing what letter there? T B R E P O. T E R. You're missing one letter. No. <laughs> Which letter is she missing, guys? R. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. You see, that's what I asked you about that. Go ahead. You can do it. C B R E P O R T E R. Fantastic. You see, I knew that you knew it. Very good. <laughs> Joshi. Tell me. <laughs> she said, tell me. Bring it on, teacher, she said. All right. Okay, Joshi, do me a favor. How you spelled politician? Yes, in Papa, I was in Paris, no Mima, I was in India, I was in Charlie, I was in India, I was in Apple, and in November. When you said politician, did you mention the C as in cat? Yes, yes, in Charlie. Ah, Sister Charlie, may I apologize for that inconvenience. Yes, very good. Excellent job. E-L-I-T-I-A-M. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And for Nancy, right? For November. Okay. And for November, yes. Very good. Excellent job, my dear. And Kenya. Hello. Hello, girl. Okay. 
Now it's your turn. Could you please be so kind to spell for me gossip columnist, if you don't mind? Right, teacher, yes. Gossip columnist. Don't Google it, Mr. Irwin. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. <laughs> ah, saw ya, I saw ya. I catch up, I catch up, I got an eyes on you. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. All right. No, but I'm not teasing you, Kenny. <laughs> okay. D O S S I. Uh huh. I what? P. P. Okay. Gossip. We're good. What about columnist? Mm -hmm. C O L U. You. Uh huh. Me. <laughs> uh huh. C O L U. Uh huh. M N I S T. Fantastic. Good job, girl. All righty. Hey, Kathy, factory supervisor, please, if you don't mind. Yes. Factory supervisor. Mm hmm. L A C T O R. R-U-P-E-V-I-S-O-R. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Very good, but you're missing one letter for factory. Factory, I, Y. Uh-huh, so do it again, please, if you don't mind. <laughs> okay. Yes, I do, teacher, but don't worry, go ahead. <laughs> F-A-C-T-O- R Y uh, S E P E R V E I S O R. Very I'm good, digital. very good, supervisor. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, Blanky, thank you, Kate, Kathy. Blanky, yeah. all right, do me a favor. Can you please spell for me, psychiatrist? <gasps> Look Did at Jesse. That's a difficult, difficult. I know. Go for it. Can you tell me again, please? Can you please be so kind to spell for me psychiatrist? Psychiatrist. Psychiatrist. This doesn't start know. with S, right? It doesn't start with S. Remember that it starts with the same letter in Spanish. P-S. Nah, are you sure? I don't know. <laughs> well, sure. well yes you're, you gotta be sure what you're saying yes okay. p.s but i want you to be more self-confident go ahead yeah I, I i don't remember because okay do your best you said p.s and it's good okay p.s uh p.s why uh-huh uh. p h mm -hmm. A, no, I. I, uh-huh. Okay, I, I, I'm going to start again. Yes, of course. P-S-Y-C-H-I-A-T-R. Only three more letters. I-S-T. Very good. Yeah, you're right. But now do me a favor. Say it with more self confidence. Yeah. Okay. P S Y C H I A T R A S T. T R A no. Again, you can I, do it. I S T. Remember, P S I like I, 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 right? Like that. Yeah. In the A. Yeah. Okay. Do that again. <laughs> okay. You will never forget this word. P S Y P S Y C H I A T R I S T. Very good. Good job, girl. Excellent. And last, like <laughs> I know. <laughs> and last but not least, uh, Erwin, you want to try this one? I cannot hear you. Thank you. Thank you. you want to try this one? Okay, it's guidance counselor, please. Oops, sorry. 
Yeah, Holy yeah. moly, yes. Moment, Don't Google it. <laughs> Oops. I am so bad in Spanish. In I, English, in English words. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. At least, at least he's sincere. Let's do your best. I need to help you with the internet. Okay. Don't uh, come on. Okay, tell me. Tell me guidance, me. guidance, guidance, counselor. Haji, uh huh. Guidance, guidance. It's like guide, remember? Guide, like somebody, some, something that guide you, right? That gives you directions, guidance. Don't worry, don't worry. I know it's hard. I know I, I left the hardest one for you because I, I, I know that, you, that you're a man who loves to read and all the stuff. I understand, but it's really different for in English and in Spanish. I understand that perfectly. So yeah. don't worry, don't worry. Let's ask your coworkers or your classmates. Let's ask Jessica, maybe she can help you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, Jay-Z, guidance counselor. <laughs> oh, no, 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 teacher. Yes, okay. yes, Jess, student, go ahead. <laughs> G, okay. uh -huh. U, I, mm -hmm. D, a mm -hmm. M C E okay uh, counselor uh, C uh, yes <laughs> P O U mm -hmm. N mm -hmm. S E L E R Fantastic! Good job, girl! Phew! Yeah! Bravo! Woohoo! All right, all right, all righty. Very good job. Excellent. <clears throat> okay, now, guys, give me one job, another one besides the one that we have seen, that ends in IST. A different one from the one that we have seen. Dentist. Dentist. Very good. The ones that ends in I A N. Electrician. No, it's not that electrician doesn't oh. count. That was easy. Okay. Uh huh. Another one besides electrician. Different with different profession that has a suffix ending in I A X. Oh, I A N, sorry. Musician. What? Musician. Musician. <laughs> Musician, very good. Another one with I A N suffix. We have musician, we have electrician. What else? Only one. I need only one. How you call in English the, doc the, the doctor's specialty who looks for children health? Pediatrician. Pediatrician. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Pediatrician. Very good. Uh, how uh, I need one more profession that ends in IST. And this one is related to the doctor or the guy who takes a look at the eyes. Uh, no, no, but I'm not talking about the one who also prescribes you some uh -uh. eye drops and something like that. The one that helps the doctor measure oh. what kind of of uh, Yeah. Uh-uh. Uh, uh. What kind of like what? Diameters or how they're going to create basically to create or to design your glasses. What's the name of the optometrist? Optometrist. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Very good. Uh-huh. And who else? Let's see. And one we O R with a E R, sorry. Only one. Carpenter. Carpenter. Very good. Oh my God. Yeah. You see, guys? You see? Plumber. Uh huh. Plumber. Yes, very good. So you see, maybe you have used that, but you didn't like quite notice that they were suffix. And depends on the profession that we're talking about, we have different suffix. We have ER, OR, IST, and IAN. All right. Very, very good. Maybe next time. 
not, not tomorrow, but maybe next time we're going to learn about prefix because we have prefix and we have suffix as in English and in Spanish, yeah? Any doubts, any questions so far? So far, so good? Somebody's combing his hair. Yeah. Or maybe tiene piojitos. I'm just teasing you. All righty. Uh, so, okay, I'm going to stay today with William. Okay? So the rest, bye. <laughs> okay, guys. Right. I know. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Don't go, William. Don't go anywhere, man. A mí me toca otra vez, teacher. Yes. I I have only spoken with you once. No, I have twice. Now this is the third time, so you're good. Ah, okay. <laughs> is that Madeline? Bye. <laughs> hey, tell me, <laughs> how was your vacation? Was it good? Oh, yes. It was Did you good. rest? Not really, just because my family, mm, I don't know how to say Christiano. Christian? Yeah, we're Christian. And so it is the, in they this, to, uh, in this week. Uh huh, then the Halloween, week, yeah. And uh, we we have to go the whole ah. the whole time uh, to the church. Ah, okay, okay, got it. I understand. Yeah. So basically, and you so, participate in religious activities. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Got it. So I don't have much vacations. You don't have too much vacations or too mm -hmm. uh, too many vacations or too much time yeah. free, right? Yeah, too much fun. Uh -huh. but it, it, besides that religious activities did you go any other place yes i went um to the lempa river lempa river but which one the way uh, from the the origin of the lempa river yeah the original so i i think it was it is in uh escapulas right or yeah no? near yeah near, near. Ah, mm -hmm. I yeah I have been there like twice, but I have I have been there for a long time. I haven't been there like I think for almost ten years. Oh. So I think it has changed a lot, right? Yeah. Yeah, and did you enjoy it? Do you uh, go with your family, along with your friends? Yes, I went with my with my friends and and family too. And family too. Oh. Yeah, I visited some some you friends visited, there. You visited yeah. some friends there? Oh, you have a watermelon. It is part of Guatemala already, right? Or no? No, no, it's uh, in in the border. Ah, in the border, oh, in the border. In the border of uh, uh, El Salvador and Guatemala. Yeah. Mm, that's wonderful. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So you if you like your left set, your left foot, you know, your yeah, your left foot is in El Salvador, and your right yeah. one is in Guatemala. Like this, you were like this. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Like, uh, like uh, Maritera, right? Remember that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was nice. Oh, so I'm glad that you had a really good vacation. And uh, tell me how you feel so far with the classes, with the topics. Uh, did you understand everything? Do you need extra information? Any feedback for me? More than welcome. Yeah. Um, this topic is um, kind of new for me. Really? Uh -huh. mm. I just heard. You have heard? About it. But oh, today? No, no. Ah, um, okay. I wasn't uh, studied this, but ah. I just heard. Uh -huh. I'm just talking. Uh huh. Really? Mm -hmm. ah. And was it difficult for you to understand it? No, no, no. It wasn't is it easy yeah. a little bit? Yeah, with the yes, exercise. With the exercise, you uh -huh, I can. I got it. Yes, you got it. Oh, that's cool. That's good. Uh, would you like to to have more topics like that, or there is a specific topic that you need like an extra information? Um. Yeah, I need uh, some. Some topic like that. Some topic like more grammar things. More grammar things. Uh -huh. I, sometimes I know, but I forgot, and I, I have to. 
to start again. <laughs> don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. It's because sometimes we use it, but we don't know exactly that it was a grammar part, for example, right? Or we no. just heard it, but it's different. It's different when you actually start, study the grammar itself. Cabo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got it. I like that phrase, come on. I like it, like, yeah, that's it. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, oh, no way, Jose, I like that. I like that expression as well. <laughs> All right. Hey, do you have any feedback for me? No, teacher. Are you sure? You have but to be honest. Go ahead. Pretty. Throw it. Throw it or leave it. No, um, <laughs> that's uh, good things for you. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I do my best. Sometimes I'm crazy, I know. No, I really appreciate what you're, you're doing. Oh, really appreciate it. Oh, well, thank you so much. I'm doing, I'm, that's what I'm here for, to there help you in the best way as possible. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm crazy, right? And I ask too many questions. Yeah. Yes, you see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see, you're honest. You know what I like is that every time you are drinking, you're eating something, but I like that. Hey. <laughs> And you change your background, right? Or no? No, really. Not really. Ah, uh, maybe you put it in a different perspective. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I ha I have one uh, different, but I change it. Or uh, maybe you are sitting in a different position. Ah, yeah. Ah, you see, yeah. I got it. I thought it was there's, there's something that is not common. It was like, what is what? Is, <laughs> yeah, you you fine, know what? Because yeah. since I'm a journalist, I'm really very observative girl that you cannot imagine. Ah, okay. I, I just analyze all detailed things, even though the really tiny things like mm, this one was not there yesterday. So this one, I feel like inspector gadgets or something like that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And I have a really image photography memory a yeah. lot, which sometimes is really nice to have it, but sometimes it's not because of the images that you that you receive, right? Yeah, you so, can remember all mm -hmm. that. So you mm -hmm. need to be very careful with what is exactly what you watch and what you're led entering into your eyes because it's really difficult to erase it from your brain. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I don't like that. <laughs> but I have it. So, all right. So that's good. Okay, we're continuing working. Hopefully you have you have a uh, work on during your vacation in the um, management plan, remember? The com communication yeah. management plan okay we're gonna sit it on friday okay so hopefully you have you still have time hey how was it going in the platform did you finish no not really teacher I, I, what happened? Uh, yeah i have to do that yes. in this weekend mm -hmm. no in this weekend no in this week before friday yes until friday i no until friday no before friday I do for Friday. Okay. Yeah, so do your best. And if you have any doubts, we said teacher to call mouth, teacher to period. Okay, okay, just ask me. Okay, I will uh, respond as soon as I can. Okay. Okay, thanks, teacher. No, no, thank you. And thank you so uh, for taking an extra time to be on one on one today. I know that maybe you already have your dinner. Maybe yes, maybe not. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, oh, that's cool. But it's time for you to go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hi, thank you, sir. See you tomorrow. Okay. okay. Bye-bye. Bye, Willie. Bye. Bye,